up? Good morning, everybody. Making sure my hair doesn't look all whack and stuff. Um, good morning. Having some coffee fee. <laughs> what up? Good morning. Gonna show you what I'm working on at some crazy stuff. Cause I'm crazy. Um, so look at this. I'll show you. This thing is cool. So watch. Um, what I've been doing, so this, for an artist, this is like <laughs> chaos, right? Um, but it's amazing because everything in art can totally be reusable. And it's something I've been thinking about for a really long time because I love making collage art. So for me, like reusable stuff and things that you use in life, like I try to put it in. But sometimes it's really hard because those things can be really awkward or interesting pieces so first of all let me talk it's morning you gotta talk of the morning to ya oh what's up it's not oh look i have my you are my sunshine right there oh hell sometimes it's just 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 right all right so what we're going to do, let's see, do I have a better thing? I was like, I usually have like a scraper, but I don't. Now all this dry paint is amazing, <coughs> but it is not coming off right now. So usually I'll use like a knife or a scraper or something to get it off or I'll just peel. But right now it's like not wanting to peel. Sometimes it'll peel in like full, full bits, but when you use it with different kinds of paint sometimes it gets kind of funky bunky funky monkey so i was thinking i had like all these little brainstorm ideas what am i gonna do with this paint what can i do like okay and i want to show you like because when you're doing art there's a lot of failure that comes with art and a lot of times like us artists don't take that well um because it's hard to feel like you can't do certain things but failure is really important for stuff like this um and i want to show it because it's really bad and i'm a good artist you know what i mean um because and i say that because i know i can do better than that but that's not the point the point is i was trying to figure out something new and when you try and figure out something new it's not always like a plus b equals c sometimes like it's different oh my god it is not coming off hold on <laughs> and let me find this thing i want to show you guys it is just like the most, oh here it is, the most ridiculous piece I've ever done. And I think it like looks like, um, hold on one sec, let me get a uh, knife too. And say hi, say hi to me guys. I'm coming right back, I promise you this is better. Okay, so I wanted to do portraits, right? But I just wanted to make it super easy and super fun and that kind of stuff. And... Can I just be honest? Portraits are not easy or fun sometimes. <laughs> um, but they do, the real part of it is they do need to be organized. And that's the reality that I've come to. So, with that, actually might actually use some of this. Oh my gosh, I just got really excited. Anyways, um, I want to show... So I want to show you this. This is my failure, okay? So I was trying to make the portrait out of this paint right um and before i tell you like how i solved the problem here is the problem all right so this was my first one and it kind of looks like i don't know like george washington or something of that effect dude but i will say the things i do like about it is the texture is really neat and this is all like paint reused paint that i've used from different things but this thing is ugly, my friends. It is not cute. This is not a portrait. <laughs> so, I'm gonna show you. Let me see if I can do it. So, I'm taking, yeah, taking off these pieces of paint, right? And now, watch this. I have, gush, all organized in separate bags every single color that I've painted in. Do you see that? It's like hot pink, blue, green, 
think at the end there that's dark or that's blue over there but they have different colors in each one too so I find that like actually really intriguing so as I go along with this I just kind of put them in piles and then organize them and then um so what I'm thinking and I want you guys to like be on my my thought level process and know where I'm going with this okay and if people follow me, they know I'm obsessed with the show Pose. I just finished season two. It is freaking incredible. If you love uh, Vogue and you love, oh my gosh, and you just love gay men dressing up in heels, I do. I love it. There is so much sparkle. It's the best show ever, honestly, guys. I, I think it's amazing. Not only does it have, like, the content of the AIDS epidemic and everything on the side of it, it's just got fun like music numbers and all kinds of stuff like I just really enjoy it. anyways I think I'm going to either do um what's her name Blanca or um what's the other person's name I just said her name Electra Electra Blanca or Electra those are my two favorite people so I'm gonna try and do a portrait of them I'm just obsessed with posts so I think it'd be a really cool thing to do oh that's a pretty color that's like orange so, I am slowly and painfully ripping this mistake portrait apart. <laughs> Actually, wait. Always look for the easier angle. Like, if it's already flipped up, you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Oh, there we go. Oh! Okay, I just want you to see this. Look at the back. It actually took, like, some of the canvas with it. <laughs> but look at all the different colors. And um, I want to show you, too, like, if you want to do this or whatever, you're like, oh, that's cool, Deborah. I just cut out the specific colors that are different out of my, like, little thing. So now I would use this one more as, like, orange. You see it? But this is white at the bottom, so you can always kind of, like, just rip off little pieces and make it exactly what you want. Yeah, this is a nice orange. This one, too, like, look at, you can't tell a certain one color. And a lot of times, that just means cut it up a little bit better and you'll have separate colors in it. Yeah, this one's more, like, white. See, now now I have, like, a specific color. Always look for, like, the main color that's in whatever the mix is. And I think that's going to be really cool. Like, the marbling of everything, too, will be really neat to see, like, how that all comes together. As I, like, don't know where anything is around me. You know. You know how we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Blah. So I'm just slowly ripping this apart. I still have more to go through, too. I have this in front of me. And when I start my days, too, um, and I'm doing my painting, I'll just sit here um, and uh, mess with my palette. Now, there is another way than what I'm doing, like, to do all this stuff, right? Um, there's this amazing thing. I just haven't bought one because I'm a lazy person. Uh, <laughs> but it's this thing called the Stay Wet Palette. So if you like acrylic paints and um, you're painting professionally or you just, you're just you just trying to paint better, it's your hobby, whatever, um, the Stay Wet Palette, you can get them at Michael's, you can get them online, you can go on Blick, you can go anywhere. Honestly, Art Supply Warehouse, whatever. There's so many places to go. Michael's. And basically, it's just like a plastic container, which you could even get on your own. Like a plastic container, you know? It's the same thing. It's so cheap. It's not expensive. I just always forget about it. But anyways, if you don't want your painting, paint to dry, you just kind of put it in there, and then it'll keep it for, for I mean, not forever, but for a, a minimum amount of time. Man, this thing is rough today. You see the other side too? It's nuts. It's great too because this is kind of a plastic surface, so it does make it usually easier for it to come off. But for some reason today, like, I think they're just, um, the layers are a little thin, so for some reason it's not peeling the way it normally does. Or maybe the, the layer under it's weird. God damn. I want to finish my other shit today. is being a pedal which is a pain in my butt I have a lot of words that I just kind of make up my boyfriend always asks me what the heck they mean and I don't know 
like, meh. Oh, I always say memo. That's what I say to him. Like, memo, mem, mimi, mem, mumu. He's like, English, dude. English. <laughs> Ooh, look at this one. That one's perfect. That one is great. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Travel around the world and back again. Yes, it's happening live. No one's watching me, but this is the best moment of my life. Love, love. No? Okay. <laughs> well, you'll see it later, and you'll laugh at me, and you'll say, Hey, Deb, you're crazy. And I'll be like, yep, I love you. I love you, guy. That's like the one thing we always say, my boyfriend and I, we're like, I love you, guy. I love you. Hey, guy. Nobody has a big fat red ass like you, Satan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> South Park quote. Not my best accent, but also fun. Oh man, this thing is a beast. Wish I could show as I was doing it too. Well, I was. Oh yeah, this one's good. Plus, the thing about having like all of these colors is it gets like, you know when it gets distracting when you're trying to mix new colors it messes with your head sometimes so you do kind of need like a clean palette do you see how long this is taking me people actually oh my gosh if i had a wire brush i bet you it would be better but now i just have oh actually these might be cool too the cool thing about art is like you can you might think you know exactly where you're going with what you're doing, and then something else kind of, like, happens. Right? Oh, my God, this is so cool. It almost looks... I don't know if you, you guys can't see what's happening, and you see that I'm ripping stuff up, but you don't see is on the ground. It almost looks like confetti. It's kind of cool. It's like this look. Oh, is it all, like, falls down? Oh, is it all falls down? Maybe it all. But that would be cool, too, to use these for, like, little spots, you know? Oh, there we go. Get off, buddy. Dear Lord. Also, a thing that loosens um, paint is always water, so I could get a sponge and kind of do that. I just was trying before I did that to save some of the paint, but you know, not everything is savable. Especially this palette. Man, what a rough moment. I thought I was going to be able to save more colors. But no! Yeah, no, this is not going to work. So, hold on. <laughs> Troubleshooting time. can loosen up. Let me show you two. You see it's like a different color now? Let's see. Eh, slightly better. Man, stuff is like just really stuck. It's definitely on there. Come on, buddy. Rip off. Just fuck off. Hey, no. Yes. Let's see. 
Man, this stuff is a beast. Yeah, it's just like, I feel like it's the thinness of the paint too. Because when I have like thicker clumps of paint, it just peels. But because it's just like not as thick. But I want people to see too, like, this is the realities of art. And, like, there's just so many moments that aren't, like, perfect. Like, the, like you're just like, oh, yeah, this is going to be easy. I'm just going to clean something. Okay, good luck with that, bitch. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, that came off easy. Did you see that? Look at that. That came right off. It's definitely like when you have to clean this kind of stuff, it's like oh, so much elbow grease. And now I probably won't use like a lot of this color either, right? Um, but that's okay. I can use some of the, the stuff that falls to like little scrappies as like highlights. I can use them as fillers, like in little spots. I could use them as a background. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool. That's a lot though. Um, I would have to have a lot more of them than what I have right now. Coffee. Dear Lord, I love this. Do you like my, um, a coffee mug? Look at that. Eat, drink, and be merry! And I'm so Jewish. <laughs> but I love Christmas! As a kid, like, I always wanted Christmas. It was always a thing for me. My mom and I always fought over it. Even as an adult, she was like, you can't have a Christmas tree. You can't have anything like that. I was just so sad. She's like, why don't you get your own apartment? You can have a cat and you can have a Christmas tree. Well, I've gotten a Christmas tree. <laughs> Cat's a whole nother story. You can't afford a cat right now. But I would rather have a dog. At the time, I think as a kid, I wanted a cat. I did have a cat at one point, too. Sad story, though. If you're curious, ask about it. <laughs> um, anyways, it's still sad. Um, so anyways, my mom would tell me, you know, we can't have a tree. And I all I wanted as a kid was, like, Santa Claus and a tree for Christmas, you know? Um, but... Instead, my mom gave me this book that was like, there's no such thing as a Hanukkah bush, Sandy Goldstein. And it was a book like based on the fact like that that's not part of our tradition. And I being raised in Orange County, California, like you're like, well, why not? You know, you're like, I want it. My friends have it. Why can't I have it? Right. It's that natural one. Well, anyways, I did. When I was living with my mom, there was a certain point that somebody, a friend of mine, um, gave me like a light up Christmas tree. I can't remember who that is. Tell me if you you know it's you. That was a long ass time ago. I think I was in my 20s. And um, I'm now 33, going to be 34 in October. So, not the same. Um, but anyways, yeah, I had this little light up tree in my mom's house and she was even like annoyed with that too she didn't like <laughs> like at the time I know she doesn't care now but back then she definitely did look at this such a mess oh it's actually very satisfying though besides the sound the sound's killing me but um You see? It definitely doesn't look like it did before. So this blue color is kind of what is bon um, beneath it. Let's see? Look, you can actually see it better. So some of these are just like the scraps. Oh, there we go. It's definitely looking better, though. It's taking me a minute, but I think sometimes, you know, you do need to take time to reset so yeah but now since I moved out of my parents house you know a while ago um we have a Christmas tree every year and it has nothing to do with Christianity <laughs> 
And we're not very religious either. I'm like, even though I'm Jewish, that's n never been something that has been um, just forefront for me. Everybody has their own way of living, and I respect everybody's religion, and I like to learn about it. So, um, you know, it's just not my practice, but I am so open to other people's way of thinking and having faith, you know? Everybody's is different. I always kind of thought, like, my art was my spirituality because it was my moment of peace. Um, but everybody else sees it their own way, you know? God dang, this thing is crazy. It's like getting rid of my aggression, though. I will say that. <laughs> and I do have a lot of that. I have, uh, you know, I get angry. I'm a girl. I get angry at everything. I'm such that type of person, too, that, like, when I'm driving, I get so, like... Fuck you! My dad was like that as a kid. Like, as a kid, I remember him doing it. Now I'm like, oh, yep, that's me. <laughs> Dang it. Took that on. It's really cool. Some of these colors are that are coming through, I don't know. You can't see them, but they're orange. Yeah, look at the orange. It's so crazy. And the blue is, like, what the original thing was. And I don't think it needs to be completely clean or anything. I just need enough space so I'm not seeing, like, a million colors at once. Because once you see that, like, your brain is, like, tripped up. It's too much. Sometimes it's just too much. The light. The light. The light is annoying. Well, I hope everybody's going to have a great day today. I hope you'll have a good week. You know... What is it, Tuesday? Who freaking knows anymore? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, um, so many clients, like random clients, you know, asking for services and that kind of stuff. And, um, like, because I do the painting parties, but it's been such, it's been so hard to navigate. No one's doing them right now because it's entertainment. So it's really hard to know when to do it and when not to. So it's definitely been, like, kind of a challenge knowing when to step on the gas and when to pull off the gas. You see this shit right now. It's happening. Slowly. Oh my god, the colors though on the carpet. It's like, oh, oh this one's cool. That is one of my favorite color combinations. This is one of the oldest com color combinations and actually what it's reminding me of right now is Alaska. When I was really little, my uh, my grandma Kate got me a um, a totem pole, and it was this mini little totem pole with these colors and black and white. Like these are the colors, like they use everywhere. Love these two colors. Um, yeah, it's like really pretty. It just reminded me of that. And as a kid, like I didn't get to go to Alaska. A lot of my family got to go, and I was in a weird relationship, so I never um, went. But that is one of my goals in life is to make sure I make it to Alaska for my grandma. And that was my dad's uh, mom, not my mom's mom. Grandma Kate, she's the one who taught me how to paint. She was just like full of sunshine and laughter. We had the same size shoes too. And it was so funny because she's like, you know, a little, little lady. And I was like, I don't know what, how old I was when she passed. She was... I think I was around like 13 or something like that. Or younger. Actually, I think I was younger. I'm so bad with dates and that kind of stuff, you know? All right. Oof. Some of these pieces are just freaking jammed on here. All right, y'all. So... Um, I will be working on the, I'm not sure if I'm working on the toke box today, but I might, I think I want to, I would love to finish it today. That would make me so happy. Um, but I do have the commission to do. I have this stuff I'm just kind of working on. Like, I don't know. See, <laughs> I create so many projects for myself. It's like ridiculous. And then I'm just stuck with like a million different ideas. It's nuts. Um. But also, it's really cool because you just go and sometimes, 
Like, you know... Okay, so my favorite movie is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's always been the original one, not like, you know, not the not the remake. Um, I think the remake is Charlie. I think it's Willy Wonka. Anyways, um, but that song, you know... Oh, I lost my thought. Perfect. What is the song? If you want to view paradise, simply look around and view it. Anything you want to do it, want to change the world, there's nothing to it, right? So, the cool thing about that song, or like, in Willy Wonka, they have this like, Wonka Vader, right? And the Wonka Vader goes every way, Wonka ways, sideways, up ways, down ways. And I think for me, like, that's kind of how I see myself in my brain, is that I'm kind of like the Wonka Vader, it's like, oh, I could do this over here and then that over here. And like, and for me, like, that's really great because I have like an ADD brain, something that just kind of skips around. And when you have something that skips around, like doing a nine to five is really hard for you to understand because I don't, my thought process doesn't go like this. It goes like that. So it's just, it's almost like having to organize chaos, like constantly, you know, for everybody's one thought, like, and I was telling this to my dad the other day, he was like, why you smoke so much or like whatever and I was like for every person's like one thought I have like seven thoughts you know and it's really hard to control having seven thoughts because your brain kind of goes off into different directions and so for me when people even interrupt me or whatever my brain is already doing its thing like it's like constantly like kind of chugging so if people like interrupt me or like whatever happens sometimes I just shut down because it's one more thought than I was that that than what was up there originally. It's crazy, and this is why we chill. One of my favorite shows in the morning to walk to is the Woody Show. It's like a radio show. I always listen to them. They're just silly and funny and real. And all this stuff. And they were basically playing, I think it's called Plenty of Fish type of thing, where they do like a, like all these weird type of people out there. I don't know. I don't know the premise. Anyways, um, there was this one girl that they were talking to this morning. It was like a repeat interview. And um, she was, she was like a stoner and she painted mushrooms with insects on them. And I was just like. You make us look so stupid. They like, and it was so annoying. And I love the Woody show, but this thing, like I re-listened to it. I've listened to it before, but they were just like, it's so easy. They're like, you know, that just sounds really chill. She just gets to paint all day and like smoke weed. Okay. You know, like just because that's like the outside part of it doesn't mean that that's all that person does. Cause they said it was easy. And I really hate to like people to say like, Yes, this is so easy. It's not easy. Like, nothing's easy. It takes hard work to do anything, even if it is a fun-looking thing. Doesn't mean that that doesn't take, like, time and dedication and all that kind of stuff. That's all I wanted to say. I really wanted to respond to them this morning, and I was like, damn it, it's like a repeat of that episode. And it stresses me out, and it makes me frustrated that they say that about her. They're like, she must just have it so easy. I mean... Her character, her personality, she was definitely, like, not the same, you know. She probably did have it easier than some people, but you just never know. And that's the thing. You just never know how people's lives are. And a lot of the time on Facebook, you just kind of see, like, the highlights real and not, like, somebody scrubbing for an hour and some change but you know what I'm gonna give you the real all the time and if you want to know the truth I'm gonna tell you the truth and I'm not always gonna be right with everything and I'm not always gonna be you know whatever but if I make a mistake or if I mess up I'm gonna say something you know just we are all works in progress none of us are perfect in life we're all learning to figure things out in this new freaking strange universe you know here we go. I tried again. I mean, it definitely is looking better, you know? This purple color is hideous. It almost looks like 
our couch and I hate our couch color now now I want to get those like little couch things that go over the couch oh man it's been such a year this is actually very therapeutic for that <laughs> Oh, with all powers combined. This is so fun, guys. <laughs> oh, I was not getting into it at first because I'm like, this is messy and stupid and annoying. Um, so anyways, lots of art is coming. DM me for any commission, no matter what you want. This is the time. Um... Also, like, on a on a more serious note, like, um, if you have people that pass during this time or, and that's hard for you because we've had my grandma pass. So, um, if you're going through that and you need something, honestly, art is amazing for healing. So, if you need a portrait or something, like, um, of love that represents whoever passed away, please get at me. All right? I'm really good at portraits. I just did I just did one, but I cannot share it still. Um, just because of the anonymity of it and the family. Um, but let me tell you, it looks amazing. It's wonderful. I did so good. The colors are amazing. <sighs> one day I'll post it, guys. <laughs> or somebody give me one I can share. When I, when you give me a give me a commission I can share. Um, that's the thing about commissions, you know, like, especially not the, if they're controversial, but it just if they're, they're personal, you know? So sometimes it's the family just wants, wants to hang on to that. And then a friend of mine, good old Amanda, um, she, I uh, check out my, my post too, cause I posted it yesterday. Such a cool setup, you guys. You when you buy a print, I want. I just want to break this down really quick. When you buy a print, you do not need to just put it up. Like you can decorate around it. It does not need to be like the only thing on the wall in that place. Like you can put cool little Pinterest plaques next to it. You like she, You could do a like shelving around it. There's so many things you can do. Look online. Like, don't feel limited by the fact that it's just, like, a print. You can make prints special easily. You could give it a cool frame. I mean, like, you could put it in a shadow box. You could, I mean, like, there's just so much you can do. Let's see. All right. Well, we've gotten quite a far away. Can you guys see? Like, since I started talking about it and as you can see I keep kind of scraping it coming back with the water loosening it it's getting there as long as I have I think my thought is like more of a Face in the center. I'm good. See in the water, you see how I just put the water over the top? The water always helps like more paint come off. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good I'm gonna start painting today um this is exactly what I was like trying to get happening now I want to show you like all this crap on the ground from it <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to vacuum JZP's always try to put something down I'm just a mess in general so I didn't do it but I should have now these are gonna be called I don't know if anybody knows what frit is but frit is like broken glass it kind of looks like Fritz. 
doesn't it? Anyways, if you uh, do, if you do mosaics or glass or anything that has to do with glass, or could find my bags, oh, let's put it here. I was like, I don't have any place. So follow me, um, DebraSlonum.com. All all prints and all art are for sale on DebraSlonum.com. All you have to do is click buy art. Everything is down there. There's magnets. I will be um, hopefully selling t-shirts soon. Um, I really want to sell some crop tops with some of the art that I've done on them. So we'll see what, what happens from there. Um, I'm just trying to get, I have so many ideas. It's like, anyways, um, get at me. I will be around today at Elatopia 86 for, um, painting lessons and instruction at pop-up studios, OC. Um, and popupstudiosoc.com to look at all of the options and gallery stuff and all that good all the good shiz as I'm like cleaning up everything that I just messed up but it's good to keep it like all together in a box and I have bags over there too but I'll separate stuff later it's just a mess so y'all have a good day have a positive day. If you get down on yourself or something happens, write about it. Write about it. Write about how you feel. Get it out. Because when you hold on to things during this time, it it they kind of like multiply. And then when all the emotion comes to the front, those situations like bring themselves with them. And then that's like double. So um, be good to yourself. Love you guys. And keep creative, right? Like that's the whole thing. Much love, everybody. Bye.